Real ear measurement is the single most important procedure when programming a set of hearing aids, yet the vast majority of hearing care providers still do not perform this critical measurement during your hearing aid fitting. So in this video, I'm going to share with you six other things that this type of hearing care provider often neglects, which will also cost you performance with your hearing aids. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Every time a hearing care provider programs a set of hearing aids without performing real ear measurement, an angel loses their wings. This is because time and time again, research proves that verifying hearing aid programming using real ear measurement is the best and only way to ensure that an individual is maximizing their performance with hearing aids, both in quiet environments and noisy environments. However, most hearing care providers would rather come up with excuses to justify not performing these critical verification measures instead of ensuring that their patients are actually hearing their best. But this is not a video about real ear measurement, no, no, no. This is a video about all of the other things that this type of hearing care provider are likely not performing if they're willing to forego a procedure as fundamental as real ear measurement. But really quick, before I get into these things, if you don't know what real ear measurement is, I highly recommend that you check out my video that I will link in the description because real ear measurement is the most important thing when it comes to maximizing your performance with hearing aids. All right, back to the things that your hearing care provider is likely not doing if they don't perform real ear measurement is not testing your ability to hear in a background noise situation. But if your hearing care provider is not going to take the time to perform real ear measurement, it is highly likely that they will also not take the time to test your speech understanding ability in a background noise situation. Unfortunately, without this information, it is impossible for us to know how well you should expect to perform in background noise. And it's also impossible for us to know if we've optimized your hearing aids to perform in background noise as well. This leads me to the second thing that a hearing care provider who does not perform real ear measurement will also often neglect, which is the discussion of assistive listening devices. Assistive listening devices like remote microphones or TV streamers are things that will help you hear substantially better in background noise and at a distance. These types of devices take a good amount of time to explain, set up, and train you on, but they are hands down the best way to help you hear better if hearing aids just aren't enough. The third thing that a hearing care provider who does not perform real ear measurement is also not likely to do is recommend hearing aid technology that is best for you. Oftentimes, in order to save time, a hearing care provider will end up recommending you technology that they happen to be most familiar with rather than taking the time to identify what your specific wants and needs are before making a hearing aid recommendation. This prevents them from having to ask you a bunch of questions or having to explain a variety of different hearing aid features and options at your initial hearing aid consultation. I mean, come on, if they're not willing to take 20 minutes to incorporate real ear measurement to a hearing aid fitting, what makes you think that they're gonna take the time to identify the exact right hearing aid for you when they can just go and recommend whatever hearing aid they have on the shelf? The fourth thing that this type of hearing care provider is likely not doing is performing hearing aid diagnostic test box measures. Test box measures are what hearing care professionals use to ensure that your hearing aids are meeting manufacturer specifications for performance. If your hearing aids are not meeting manufacturer specifications, then your hearing aids are not mechanically functioning properly. Why does this matter? Well, if your hearing aids are not meeting manufacturer specifications for output, gain, distortion, and equivalent input noise when amplifying sound, then your hearing aid performance is going to be significantly reduced. Some industry data suggests that 10 to 20% of hearing aids that come new or repaired from hearing aid manufacturers are not meeting manufacturer specifications, which means that these types of hearing care providers are actually fitting you with hearing aids that are not performing correctly. But hey, if they're willing to let you leave the clinic with hearing aids that have not been programmed correctly using real ear measurement, then they are more than likely okay with you walking out of their clinic with hearing aids that are not mechanically functioning properly. The fifth thing that a hearing care provider who does not perform real ear measurement is also likely not doing is administering a subjective outcome questionnaire. Real ear measurement is a form of objective hearing aid verification, but subjective outcome questionnaires are a form of hearing aid validation. 
Just asking the question, how does that sound, does not count as a form of subjective hearing aid validation. How is anybody supposed to know if you're actually overcoming your hearing difficulties unless we rate your performance using a research-proven validation tool like the International Outcome Inventory for Hearing Aids, the Client-Oriented Scale of Improvement, or the abbreviated Profile of Hearing Aid Benefit. The sad thing is completing these questionnaires or a variety of other validated questionnaires only takes a few minutes and can provide valuable insight for how well you're actually performing with your hearing aids in a variety of different situations. That being said, if your hearing care provider does not perform real ear measurement, then they likely will not want you to complete a validated outcome questionnaire because it will likely reveal lower than expected patient satisfaction scores. And the sixth and final thing that I will be talking about in this video that a hearing care provider who does not perform real ear measurement will also likely not do is provide you with high quality long-term follow-up care. Since it is likely that this type of hearing care provider is not really concerned with your maximum performance with hearing aids if they don't perform real ear measurement on you very early on in the fitting process, then it is also likely that they don't really care about your maximum performance over the long term. If you are not having a minimum of two follow-up visits a year to do things like additional audiologic testing, preventative maintenance on your hearing aids, and earwax removal, then it is likely that you're going to be running into issues down the road. Now there is a good chance that you actually spent thousands of dollars on your hearing aids and the care that comes along with it. And if that is the case, wouldn't you want to ensure that your hearing aids are always performing their best? Not to mention, it is also likely that your hearing will get worse as the years go by, which means that your hearing aids will require consistent reprogramming. So why wouldn't these providers want you to come back regularly? Well, the answer to that is that these visits take time, and most of these hearing care providers would rather you only come back when it's time to purchase your next set of devices. Now, I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but when it comes to things like this, I can't help but think of all the things that these types of hearing care providers are willing to cut corners on if they're not willing to perform a fundamental procedure like real ear measurement. And this list of six different things that I just mentioned is by no means an exhaustive list. Now, if you want to ensure that real ear measurement is performed and all the other things that I just got done talking about are done as well, then you want to make sure that you find a local provider and the easiest way to do this is go to the drcliffaud.com website. Once you're on the website, if you click on the Find a Provider tab, you can search for a local hearing care professional in your area who is committed to following best practices and who will act as a fiduciary on your behalf. Having an excellent hearing care professional in your corner is one of the best ways to ensure that you maximize your performance with hearing aids. And if your hearing care professional is one of the only 30% of hearing care professionals who performs real ear measurement, then you're off to a great start. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.